Hello, my name is Professor Durak, and obviously you want to make YouTube content here on this beautiful platform. Well, I'm here to help you out with that. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Rob, why do you got on the tie, the dress shirt, the jacket that obviously is way too tight and is cutting off circulation in your arms? Well, I'm doing that because I'm here to help you, the people. So these are my 10 steps for you to make videos. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Step one, get your paper, get your notepad. I want you to write down 10 communities or 10 ideas that you want to do here on this beautiful website. And the question that you need to write at the top of your paper is, can I do any of these subjects that I've written down a hundred plus times? Because you will. And after you have those 10 things written down, you also need to write the pros and cons of each community. I'm gonna go ahead and help you out here and give you some lists in different communities and what I mean. So step two, the different communities. You have your list, you have your communities, you know things that interest you that you want to do, but did you know that there are genres within genres? For example, if you do gaming, you are not gonna be doing the same gaming as your friend who's doing the same gaming as his cousin. You guys are in different genres, even though you are all doing gaming. Also, I just, you know, I forgot to admit, by doing a gaming channel, you're somewhat of a SoundCloud rapper, but that's okay, because the chance for you to blow up could be that next video just around the corner. From the different communities, you have the fighting game community, you have the Fortnite community, you have the Minecraft community. It's very important when you're picking your community that you're gonna make your 100 plus videos on that you realize how big the community is. A prime example of this, when I first jumped onto this beautiful website known as youtube.com, I started out in the Metal Gear Online community. However, the Metal Gear Online community is very small. At most, I would say 10,000 to 12,000 people. Meaning, don't expect the video in that community to really take off and net you that beautiful, beautiful 100,000 plus to a million views on a video. It's just not happening. You have to be realistic with what communities you're a part of. So no, 007, you putting Fortnite is poison, MGO is the cure, and MGO best game ever, and the title is not going to work. Another thing that can cause a little bit anxiety with gaming communities is if you go all in, let's say with Assassin's Creed here. And Assassin's Creed game didn't come out this year. They decided to take a year off. That's a year of content that you have to get out for your people to like and enjoy. And you bet not take a break. I bet not go to your channel and you decided I'll just take the year off and come back when Assassin's Creed, whatever the one that's not Desmond Miles is coming out next year. I bet not see that. Cause if I see it, I'm gonna get on your ass. Now everybody doesn't wanna do gaming. So let's just continue down the line and look at these beautiful communities. We have the reaction community. Now this is one where you gotta really dial in on the type of audience you want. You have TV reactions, people looking at Game of Thrones and different television shows. A con of that is HBO and some of those different television companies don't play around. Easy way to build an audience, also an easy way to get sued. And I know someone's gonna hit me with, yo, Big Rob, man, but fair use. Hey, I hear you, buddy. I'm just gonna let you know. Well, that fair use doesn't apply to big companies. They don't care. If they want it gone, it will be gone. Just be safe if you decide to do this. K-pop. K-pop reactions are up, they're rising. If you start a channel tomorrow and you put first time reacting to insert group, guaranteed that's gonna get 10,000 views by the end of the month. However, it's very important to know that K-pop fans want to watch a particular group. So don't think you're gonna start watching BTS and then jump to EXO and then whatever other groups that just come along. By doing that, you will potentially drive away some of the other people that have found you initially. And K-pop fans can sometimes be fickle, so you know, if you say you don't like a track, they gonna get on your ass and they come in with the extendo dick. Then there's general music reactions. This is the one you see a lot of my brothers, some of my skin folk in, looking at different music, hip hop, all that extra stuff. These have different nonsense going with it. Some of the cons, Universal Music Group, 
will block and they will take every dime. <laughs> so you will not be earning anything looking at that. So I found that some people usually chop the songs up. It seems like they do it in increments of 15 seconds. Doing reactions is kind of tough. What? But you can thrive. It's just very important to realize what you're going to dial in on. Are you doing TV shows? Are you doing K-pop? Are you doing general music reactions? You can react to just anything and everything, but by doing that, you're bringing in an audience that wants a whole bunch of different things. It's better to focus on one thing. The late, great Sheikah's Clouds, he's still alive, even though I said late, great, like he died. He told me years ago, and in my young 21, 22 year old brashness, I know everything, I said, Sheikah's, you don't know what you're talking about when he told me, Rob, I see what you're doing on your channel. Focus on one thing. He was doing Naruto and he was blowing up. And I said, nigga, you don't know what you're talking about. And years later, he was correct. Focus on one thing, one thing. I swear if you come back and say, Rob, man, I tried. I really tried. It just, it just doesn't work out. It didn't work. Your 10 step guy didn't work. And I click your channel and you didn't focus on one thing. Ooh, I'm getting your ass. But Rob, I want to try different things. We're going to get to that baby at part nine. It's called dipping your toes. We're going to get to that later. Let's continue. We have the tea community is drip fed content. You're starting out. You're not gonna have the insiders. You're not gonna be able to DM James or Jeffrey or all of these other beauty guru YouTubers and get that delicious pig tummy tea to feed out to the audience. You're gonna have to wait until some of the bigger guys put their videos up and then you're gonna have to regurgitate that information. Don't worry, you're, you're in the trenches. Every soldier has to stand on the corner before he the drug kingpin. It's life. Stand on that corner. Push that crack that's destroying your community for it will be your time to be drug kingpin at some point. Just not today. So get your ass on that corner and push that crack. Also, another con of the, of the T communities, some of these people are unstable mentally. Not making a joke. They will copyright strike. They don't care. They're going to copyright strike. They're going to expect you to hold the L unless you fight back. And you might get docs. I'm not going to say you will. It's just, it's, 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 it is what it is. Sometimes the fans of these communities can be a little overbearing. So if you have a mistake that we're going to cover in part, one sec, we're going to cover that in part five. If you have a mistake, they won't let that go. Everywhere else on the internet, you might be able to get away with it. T community, you mess up. They're on your ass. Let's continue though. Now, this is something I, uh, <laughs> have recently joined the commentary community. Okay, I've been in two different communities, reaction and gaming. This is uh, where Big Rob is at currently until next year they bring out that new YouTube stuff and it, it comes crashing down and I'm gonna wake up and Susan's gonna just shut everything down. But let's not hope that happens. Hopefully my connection to the other side will continue to be great as it has been and we can just continue to crank out these beautiful videos that you guys obviously enjoy. Now from the commentary community, we have drama, we have reactionary, and we have in-depth analysis. Now here on YouTube, they like to pretend that your mental health and all of that matters. It fucking doesn't. You better crank those videos out as fast as you can. So in-depth analysis, that may take a little longer. You may have to wait until that entire thing plays out before you're able to make a video on it. Reactionary content, while I'm not a big fan of it, I will say it has its place here and it's here to stay. There's millions of topics that you can cover to put out a constant stream of content for your viewers. And then there's drama content. Drama content is a spur, it's in the moment. It's like some hot sex. You just bang and bang and bang and then you go to sleep. It's hot, it's ready. The lifespan on it sometimes is a little lower. So something that was really relevant two weeks ago may not be that relevant now. So you gotta stay up to date with everything going on. Also, I don't know if this is a trend or not, but it kind of seems like when people have fallen out in this community, I mean, it's bloody. Information is getting posted. The DMs are being leaked. They're going deep, deep, deep into the Discord messages to show why no one should mess with them. I don't know about y'all, that scares the absolute hell out of me. 
It, it really does. Because Big Rob may say something crazy like, if you don't think the black woman is God, you should be killed on Discord, which I put, you know, maybe two and a half hours ago. And then I said her complexion is intoxicating. I love it. I, I don't want somebody to pull that up three years after the fact because we just had a bloody falling out. And at this point, they want to try to bludgeon my skull. And like, please don't do me like that. Don't do Big Rob like that, baby. Come on now, you know I'm a sensitive fellow. I can't take all that big baby. And I'm gonna let you guys know this. You watching this at the 10 minute mark, I am tired of editing this video. I'm not adding anything else to this. So uh, the rest of the video is just gonna play out as is. I'm gonna catch you guys about next week. <laughs> I don't mean to, I, you know, I'm supposed to save this to the end of the video. Hey, it's in the middle of the video today. I have, I, I could have made three videos as long as I've been working on this one. And, and I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this. So yeah. The tech community. Now this is a phrase we're gonna use here called skin in the game that you're gonna hear more at part eight, but it's gonna require some money out of your pocket. You starting out, you're not gonna get the Samsung phone, you're not gonna get the Apple iPhone 12, 13 sent to you right off the bat. You're gonna have to put some groundwork in. It's gonna require a lot of dollar use out of your own pocket to review different items. But after you have built up an audience of you reviewing different tech items, then you can start asking for the free shit. However, you have to be very aware that this community can be a little harsh. If you don't have all your information or your B-roll ain't looking all clean and crisp or your setup ain't all that nice, they're probably gonna get in your ass. And they like to f*** raw. The mukbang community. Now, mukbang is really easy. You could crank out a mukbang video every single day. The problem with mukbang bang your ass is going to get fat unless you are disciplined so this is my suggestion to you eat on saturday order all your bullshit food on saturday eat it change your shirt each video and then monday wednesday and friday upload those videos you have all week to get that fat off and run don't eat every day at a drop of a notice and upload that don't kill yourself for youtube are you crazy I don't think you are. And the last one, outrage porn. Outrage porn entails people that just cover every single mess up that happens. Negativity is thriving. All that positive, why can't we be more positive? Hey, I'm here to tell you, people don't give a fuck about that positivity shit. Negativity makes us strong. And that's what people want. And you that are doing these videos need to capitalize on it. Nothing wrong with that. As soon as something happens, you're on they ass. Know what the community wants. They want that. They want to be outraged. Feed it to them. We're gonna cover this more in part three. Knowing what your audience wants is the most important aspect here on YouTube.com. But Big Rob, what does that mean? I'm glad you asked. If you're the negative guy, if you are the amazing Lucas, doesn't enjoy anything, you bet not start liking some shit. And this is actually very hilarious on his channel. Sometimes he'll give a take that's not as conservative as some of his other videos, and people in the comment sections will have mental breakdowns. Lucas, I've been watching you for a year. Unfortunately, I gotta go after this one, fam. I can just tell that you're just a little too liberal for my taste. You know what he does? He double dips. He turns on the stream. He'll address the comments. He knows what the general audience wants. He wants that conservative stuff. But every now and then, he gives a take that may not be so conservative. This allows him to double dip. The quartering, he knows what the audience wants. He may have 17 plus videos on Brie Lawson. Guess what, when Captain Marvel 2 comes around, he's gonna have 50 more. <laughs> and that's with every community. It's very important to know what your audience wants. If you're a Street Fighter player, I'm not watching you play Dark Souls. I'm not watching you play Call of Duty. Put on f***ing Street Fighter and put your ass in rank, okay? There's one of my subscribers, he was doing a lot of NBA videos, he was covering them. He's recently switched over to reaction content. I'm not saying I'm not watching the content, I want him to thrive. But sometimes, before you start dipping your toes, which we're gonna cover in part nine, like I said earlier, before dipping your toes into new waters, you have to build the audience. Once the audience messes with you, they'll watch you do anything. Even take a shit on the toilet. Let's continue. Speaking, speaking is very important. In the last year, I've tried to up my speaking. I have a very fast brain and I talk really quick, so sometimes I stumble over my words. Take a breath. If you don't want to make a script, 
say your sentence, pause, hold the position like this, think what you're about to say, and say the next sentence. If you want to make a script though, then that's really easy. This is RMP's one-stop shop to how to make a script. Really simple. You turn on the camera, you bump your gums into the mic for as long as you want, really get how you feel about the topic out of your system. Drop it in whatever editing program you use, put a photo, upload it on private, let YouTube do its closed captions, open up the closed captions, copy and paste it into a document, listen to what you're saying as you're reading the closed captions, and pause and take out things that you're like, hmm, that's a little too extreme, hmm, I don't really like this here, Hmm, I may have said something very racist right here. Remove all of that. Condense it, read it again while you're recording, and then you start editing that. Boom, easy script right there, baby. This also allows you to look up additional information to add to your script. So when you're getting that second Omega copy ready to record, everything is right there ready to go. Mistakes on the internet. Did you say something sexist? Did you beat an animal? Did you hit your kid? Did you say nigger? Well, I'm here to tell you what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable. A little accidental racism, it may be a little hot for you at the moment, but don't get past that. Come on now. You're good to go, seriously. You'll, you'll be good to go. People will get the fuck over it. You hit an animal or you beat a kid, you are done. Wrap it up. Shut the channel down, it's time to move on. But part nine, we will cover what you can do since you made that mi mistake. Do not copy other people's work. There's nothing wrong with being influenced by people. You should watch a variety of different YouTubers to understand people's speaking patterns, how they present information, editing techniques, but do not lift somebody's entire video. You can see this with Ouija Plays. He completely copied Soul Brother Numbers 3 video on how to buy an XLR mic and what to look for in that process. I'm here to tell you the Blue Yeti is a $100 stainless steel toy. The Blue Yeti is a $100 stainless steel toy. Everything good you heard about it, forget it. They're lies born from hobbyists with no concept of quality. Everything good you heard about it, forget it. They're lies born from hobbyists with no concept of quality. It's really crazy, and if you want to know more about that, then you can check out this video I have linked down below. Part seven, this one for the ladies. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell you how it is, okay? If you're a lady, they're gonna comment on your looks. It is what it is, okay? Get the fuck over it. That's the, that's, everybody's gonna get comments on their looks, okay? 10 years ago, I was gay. Now, I'm trans, I'm gay. I don't get any pussy. Like, it. it is what it is. You're just gonna have to suck the shit up, okay? If Sally sits in front of the camera and Sally puts up her hands in front of the camera, you best believe I'm on my alt account talking about Sally's hands at 525. Oh my God. I just want to look at her hands all day. I just want to stare at Sally's hands. If Sally's hands look that good, I can't even imagine what her feet look like. She's going to have to deal with it if Sally decides to make videos. When it comes to getting insulted, you have to realize if I'm trolling you on an alternate account, I don't have time to go through and realize what makes you tick and what's your insecurities. I'm going to write the most offensive shit possible to get a reaction out of you. Let it go. I promise you, you make two more videos, you're gonna forget about that comment. Hell, sometimes you get a comment that's so funny that you just gotta tell other people about it. Let's read one. You have a really high voice for a guy. I thought I had a high voice, but jeez. LOL, no wonder you're an incel. And I might add, with a voice that high, you are an incel. Either that or you are gay. And there's nothing wrong with that, smiley face. But I and others see what you're doing, making fun of incels and TFLers in your videos in a pathetic attempt to separate yourself from those groups of people. We can see right through you, fam. You ain't fooling nobody. That being said, kudos for having a YouTube channel with 31,000 subscribers. I respect the hustle. He brought me into his darkness with all these insults. And then when he had me into his darkness, his cold embrace, he said, I respect the hustle. You can't do anything about somebody writing something negative. It doesn't matter how much editing, it doesn't matter how much you're trying to be fair in your videos. If somebody dislikes what you're saying, they're going to find a reason to dislike you. It is what it is. You just move on. Trust me, you'll forget about the comment two videos later. Sometimes it's funny. 
Sometimes you roll out of bed and you wanna beat somebody's head in. Are you really willing to go to jail over a YouTube comment? I'm not. Now the gear, the bling, the things that spice up your videos to make it look amazing. This ties back into what we were talking about earlier with skin in the game. You could buy the Canon T3i, you probably can get one of these for 300 now. When I bought it back in 2012, it was 700. You can get these things, but in reality, do you need these things? No, you don't. I have this camera, I have this green screen right here that I don't use, and I have this interesting mic that you can hold and do little interesting shots with if you're out and about. But do you need these things? No. Nowadays, the camera's phone is all you really need. If you got an iPhone or an Android device that is equally as good, there's an app, $15, called Filmic Pro. If you got a mic, I'm using a USB mic here. Go ahead and get yourself Filmic Pro for 15. Use your mic, download the free software Audacity, and you're good to go, baby. But at the end of the day, the most important thing that's necessary is your personality. All the bells and whistles aren't gonna make somebody subscribe. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is if they like you. And you need to keep that in mind. You buying that $800 mic is not gonna make a nigga say, holy cow, I got a sub. He has that Newman? He got the Newman? Whoa, he got that Newman. I need to sub to him. You may get one or two people that way, but at the end of the day, you is what's gonna bring people to your content. Now that we're getting close to the end, this is the final part of the video. Just some miscellaneous and additional things I think is necessary to help you reach your goals going into 2020 and onward. Do not change your online name. Sit down, think of a good online name and stick with it. Do not start changing your online names. You see some people do this. Madame tried it, Mundane Matt tried it, Mystery Guitar Man, added on some nonsense, stop. Don't change your online name. Keep what you got and continue going forward. Because nine out of 10 times when people start changing their online names, you don't understand how many links you start putting in your descriptions that it just gets really, really hard to change. Think of a good online name, even if it's something you end up hating and stick with that. Make sure you get all of your software through the official websites. I know some people get their uh, editing software from unconventional sources, but you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful. You installing that, you don't know what you're installing on your computer, you go to sleep, you wake up, and next thing you know, somebody is live streaming from your account playing Escape from Tarkov. Two-way authenticate everything. Everything. Two-way, you, I mean, I shouldn't even have to tell y'all this, but apparently there's people out here not doing this. Two-way authenticate everything. Hey Rob, man, I'm scared, man. Something happened, I just got a fishy email, and I two-way authenticate now, I can't, and, and I keep getting logged down, I'm, trying to, I'm not trying to hear that. Two-way authenticate everything. I'm not the best at this one, networking, it's a part of the game, I'm not all that great at it. I'm not gonna lie, I've had fallen outs with YouTubers in the past, so it has me paranoid when it comes to making new friendships. I'm trying to break that habit and be more opening and warm to my brothers and sisters, but it's tough. I'm a paranoid dude. Don't know why, but I, <laughs> it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. This one is very, very important. Search engine optimization, SEO. If you go on Google right now and you type in Momocoon and you click the videos tab, you might see a video from me, your boy, RMP Pachi. SEO is very important. Fill out that description, baby. Put those tags, hashtags, man. Any video you talking about, it better have some hashtags at the description when I open that bad boy up and I'm not playing. You need to be filling out that description, what you're talking about. It's mundane, but you'd be surprised how much it helps. Staying in the viewer's face. This is very important. When your videos are taking off, you wanna know how you're staying in somebody's face? When you get one of those random comments, 3 a.m. I don't know why I'm getting recommended your channel. That's good. That's real good. That means I'm gonna upload three videos this week. I'm gonna stay in your face. You gonna click one of them. You gonna watch five minutes on one of them. And you're gonna say, hey, I kinda like this RMP Kimpachi guy. I think I'm gonna sub. That's great. Another way you can stay in the viewer's face, Instagram and Twitter. I'm not all that great at either of these. Some people on the Twitter, they, they tweeting the stuff out. They all on Twitter. 
I'm not all that great at it. I suck at it. I'm gonna be honest with you, all right? <laughs> I'm very lackluster at, at Twitter, and then I don't really let people follow me on Instagram. A couple of y'all follow, and I, I look at it, and then I look at your account, and I'm like, because one time, you know, somebody got mad at me and they started going through my Instagram list, DM and people like, R.P. Capachi, you need to know about him. And I'm just like, yo, <laughs> yo, why are you bringing this into my real life, dog? These are people I went to high school with. I know one on one. Can we can we leave it alone? So now I'm a little paranoid when it comes to the Instagram game. But you can't follow me on Twitter. Thumbnails. The thumbnail game is very important. Sometimes, right, I'm looking at people's stuff and I'm like, damn, did I miss his video? Was it not in my, my sub box? No, it was in my sub box. It's just the thumbnail was so trash, I couldn't find it. If you gotta put your face in the thumbnail, fine. If you wanna make your thumbnail extra, I mean, I, I've, I don't wanna say I've given up on the thumbnail game. I had one of my homies behind the scenes like, yo, Rob, man, you gotta step the thumbnail game up. And I'm like, I'm trying, man, I'm trying. He was like, yo, you gotta step up the titles too. I'm trying, man, I'm trying, brother, I'm trying. The thumbnail game is very important. Don't sell yourself short. If you gotta spend out a couple, five, six dollars, somebody help them make you a good thumbnail, do that. I'm not doing that, but I mean, if you wanna do that, you know, there's people that make thumbnails too. You just gotta follow the right people and look in the right places on Twitter. They have people that will make thumbnails for you. Now, the last two I think are the most important things to take home from this video. Sometimes creators do this passive aggressive, I just don't think the support's there anymore. I'm not trying to hear that shit if I still watch your videos. Figure it out. Don't put it on the community, even if you know you, you feel the support's not there. Never put it on them, because there's some kid in Oklahoma somewhere or down in Florida that's watching your stuff. They go on break, they sitting in their car, they say, let me see what this nigga Rob talking about today. And the first thing they gonna hear, I mean, yo, you know, this, I just don't think the support there, y'all. I think I'm, you know, I think I'm gonna quit this shit. They're not trying to hear that, okay? All right, I'm not trying to hear that. If I if I hear you doing that, that shit triggers me when somebody like the support ain't the support ain't there. Well, pick better topics. Try something else. This is going to tie into the next one. Dip your toes into something new. Nothing wrong with dipping your toes. Hey, Big Rob Gucci Soldier from the Eighth Dimension, what's dipping your toes? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Dipping your toes is when you're doing a. And you're like, hmm, let me see how the community is going to react when I throw B at them. It's dipping your toes. Everybody been swimming, baby? You know that water is cold. You can dip your toe like, ooh. You see how the community responds to B. Never jump into the pool. I done jumped into the pool a couple times. Like, man, hey, f got a community doing. I'm, I'm just jumping right in the pool. That can be a good and bad thing. Sometimes you just jump in the pool, it leaves people bewildered. Hey, why did he switch up? Why isn't he doing the thing that I originally watched him for? It's very important. If you wanna try something new, you dip your toes. You keep trying it. Five videos of you talking about Onision, hey man, I wanna play Halo Reach. That's a dip into the toe. You make three more videos talking about Alinity, damn, yo, Street Fighter V Guild character just dropped. I kinda wanna play him for my channel. Dip in your toe. You keep dipping that toe. Eventually, you never know. A video may take off from you dipping your toe. And once that video takes off, it goes from one to maybe let's try like two videos a week of me dipping my toe. The next thing you know, by the time you switch, they don't even know what hit them. They were walking down the street and some kid came up, decided to play the knockout game and now they laying face first, pissing all over themselves. Dip your toe. Don't just jump into the pool dip your toe. You see this a lot with a lot of lovely ladies that did the smash or pass challenges when they were reacting to uh, DDG, Soluminati, Pretty Boy Fredo, and Flight Reacts. The ladies that did that, they got a lot of subscribers off of that. They tried to dip their toe in the other thing, doing weave reviews, when in reality, a lot of the audience that's watching that is not young ladies, it's niggas. It's niggas that are, you know, 16, 17, dicks hard, full of blood, and they wanna f Okay, that's just, just the reality of it. Sometimes if you dip in your toe, you gotta know your audience. A weave review, I ain't watching that. You better stand up and twerk to that new goddamn six. Nah, I'm trying to see some ass. That's why knowing your community and dipping your toes is very important. It shows you how much support might be there for something else. How much people may watch you do something else. It may be five, 6,000 people that will watch you do A, but then there might be 2,000 people that don't care what you put out and don't watch you do anything. 
learn to appreciate both sides equally. Part 10 and we're gonna part ways and I'm gonna tell you to subscribe to my shit. Have fun. Over here on youtube.com forward slash RMP Kenpachi, we're not building a channel. We're building an audience. Remember that not every video won't pop. Don't beat yourself up over it. A video doesn't do well. So what? Move on. Six videos later, you might that video might take off. And guess what happens when you have a video take off? People go back and watch previous content when they like what they see. Just keep that in mind. Come on now, some of my creatives said this. Dylan Jackson wrote to have fun with it. Don't overthink the negatives. It's easier said than done, but you'll feel a lot better if you just worry about your own craft than some idiots online. Facts! That's facts right there, baby. Stop worrying about the next man. Everybody can eat as long as I eat first. Come on now, drop it a hug, baby. I'm just <laughs> Don't worry, you know Big Rob wouldn't do you dirty. I went and got some more people too. So I went out and I asked anime analysts and he said, I would try to capitalize on relevant content when trying to grow an audience starting out. This will help with discovery. Facts. That means if you want to focus on Boruto chapters when they drop, I don't want to wait till after a week of the Boruto chapter dropping for you to give your thoughts. Same day. Same day, you can do the what's to come video next week, but I need the reaction. I need you getting hyped to it that same day. I'm not gonna come and wanna look at that joint five days later. I got twerking videos to look at five days later. I wanna watch you talk about Boruto right now, today as it's dropping. So you gotta keep that in mind. Hold on, let's go ahead and see what uh, the other people said as well. You know, I had to ask, hello, you seeing? He said, what is something you really enjoy talking about or are good at? Make videos only about that topic, game, etc. And the more specific, the better. Plus, you gotta be uh, prepared to do 100 plus videos before expecting anything. That's facts. I, if I'm telling y'all the 100 plus rule, right? Hello, you seen telling y'all the 100 plus rule. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't mean to do that, but that's two people telling you the 100 plus rule, man. Come on now, focus on one thing. I was in the uh, little uh, Periscope joint yesterday and, and somebody pulled up, but what about Rico the Giant, Big Rob? You ain't Rico the Giant, nigga. You, you. R Rico the Giant is Rico the Giant, all right? That's a, I don't know, that may be an anomaly, but we not gonna try to chase what he did. We gonna focus and build the foundation of what we doing, okay? Your cousin, I know a couple of y'all, you know, you probably got some pretty cousins. Your cousin's probably smashing bad chicks out here. Now, are you smashing bad chicks? I mean, some of y'all probably gonna say yes, but some of y'all definitely gonna say no. You not your cousin. Y y your dick ain't like your cousin, all right? He ain't, <laughs> he taxing them from the back. You not taxing them from the back. Suck it up. It is what it is. All right, and then I had to go as Big Willie from the Willie Mac show. That's Big Willie. That's Fifth Dimension Willie, y'all. That's not even, he's not even Universe 7 Willie. This is Fifth Dimension Willie. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but Willie said, I would say that no matter what genre you do, scripted or not, try to make every video better than the last. Always try to improve something. That's facts! Then he said, haha, if you look at any old channel's videos, they're always terrible. That's why he doesn't delete the old cringe stuff. If one person is inspired by how far I've come, that's worth leaving them up. That's facts right there. That's definitely facts. If you like you I like to go to people's channels and see the transition from like okay to great. Okay, you not nobody comes out the gate. You know, throwing fists, doing uppercuts, doing tiger knees. You gotta really mess up that input of that tiger knee and that sure you can before you get it crisp and it's like, oh, he jumped in the air and you instantly know what to do before his muscle memory. You don't come out the gate doing it. You gotta start somewhere. I guarantee, I'm gonna use a, there's a guy named Phase Agony. He, he used to uh, do a lot of editing stuff, but now I think he does like Call of Duty videos. If you think Phase Agony came out the gate editing people's videos like at a really nice level, you're crazy. I guarantee for every 150, he was getting paid off it before he started just changing his content up. But if you think he came out the gate doing it at the level he was doing it, no, you gotta do at least 100 and 150 terrible joints before you, you know, get somewhat decent at it. Come on now, this is just other people I've asked, man. Focus on your own crap, it's you against you. It's you against everybody else, but it's you against you first and foremost. Realize what worked on your channel and try to recreate that. What are the takeaways from this video? Can you do it a hundred plus times? Cause you're gonna have to. I know you, well, I don't want to, I'm, I'm gonna switch the content up. Oh, no, you're not. You're gonna do it a hundred plus times. 
You're gonna become a pillar in the community that you're a part of to the point that people mess with you. And then once they mess with you, dip your toe and try something new. Put it on another channel. Let them go over there and find it that way. Don't just start blaming the community when shit just doesn't go the way you want it to go. Doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So now with that being said, class is now over. You should subscribe to this channel. Not for content like this, because I'm, I'm not gonna make another video like this. I may do the professor do-rag thing again. I kind of like it even though this, I may have to lose a little weight, man. This shit kind of tight. But I might do the professor do-rag thing again. I kind of like this. But I'm not gonna make another video like this. This, I, you know, it's the same thing I tell everybody. Can you do it 100 plus times? Yeah. It's, it's very, very simple. Just make videos. Don't do three videos and then six months later, yo, I really gave it on my all. Three videos? Dragon Ball Z came on every day at 5 p.m. It didn't come on three times and then disappear for six months. It came on every day. And I was there ready to watch it. If it was 5 p.m. and it was Sailor Moon, AKA you wanna be outside and vlog, I didn't watch Sailor Moon. I turned I turned the channel. Doop, turned the channel. Hold on, where the, where the remote at? Doop, I turned the channel, okay? <laughs> That being said, I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. You don't have to follow me on Instagram, but follow me on Twitter. For sure, follow me on Twitter. Some of you unfollowed. How am I supposed to get to 1,000 followers on Twitter if you guys keep unfollowing? Okay, we need to start having that conversation. I hope you like this longer style video. Some of you said you would watch me do something longer. Oh, we gonna test y'all's gangster today. Gangsters are being tested today. We gonna see if y'all watch this. I might do another Professor Do-Rag like I said earlier. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll catch you on the next one. Everybody have a great day and I will talk to you soon.